Uh, this is still the kind of damage, take a look, that a wet microburst can cause. I didn't know that term until today. This video is from Erie yesterday. Take a look at this. This thing comes in really fast, really hard. You see all the, the stuff that came down mm -hmm. from it. But the wet microburst and, and looking at how it works is quite remarkable. Uh, tell us how that works exactly. Well, here's some video. This is stock video, not the Erie video. But watch right in here, Mike, right. as I'll play it twice. Okay. And see that rain just ah. almost like the helicopters with the fired water yeah, buckets yeah. that drop it out. The fire Mother Nature's kind of doing the same thing. It's going to pause here in just a moment. Right. That is a wet, my, uh, this is a microburst right in here. Right. And basically the thunderstorm, as you know, rain cools things off. Right. In a thunderstorm, there'll be a bubble, if you will, that gets very cold. That cold air gets very heavy, and when it gets super duper heavy, it just immediately falls and smashes into the ground. Now here recently, we've seen several of these. July and right. August is kind of microburst season for right. Colorado. It's just because the whole atmosphere is so warm. When you build that cold pocket, a lot more momentum to slam into the ground. Wet That's microburst, like microburst, what's the difference? Wet microburst has a lot of rainfall with it, oh, the torrential no. rainfall. Okay. And then a, tr a traditional microburst like it's this just one wind. is just mostly just the wind. Ah, yeah. Okay, good enough. Thank you, Matt. You bet. Broaden our horizons here. Coming up next.